Hello, in a recent video I showed you how you can master constraints. In this video I want to show you an example of kind of a, how I would use that, how you can use constraints along with shift to, you know, a real world example. So let's say I want to add a detail right here. So I can go ahead and just apply the apply modifier and then let me just go ahead and select which polygons I want to work with. So I'll select these, grow. And so you know, I've got this right here. And you know, as you're working with polygons, you will get like a, a default polygon quad arrangement. So let's say I want to make this more rounded. So of course I can just go here. I can hold control and click here to convert to vertex. I can go in here and just, you know, individually try and do this right here. Or what I can do is go ahead and go into freeform and then use shift. Now we don't want to do this because it's going to select, it's going to work with lots of them. So we're going to go ahead and go into the options and only by vertex. So now we see the vertex that we're working with, vertices, and we could just now easily just kind of move this and get the kind of rounded shape that we want. So just kind of a zoom in, zoom out, zoom out for a larger movement, zoom in for a more fine movement. And so now, as you can see, we can very easily get these kinds of selections by using this method. So I just want to give this kind of practical real world example. All right, and now we've got this right here. I want to give another example on this object. So here I will, let's say, select this and inset. Once again, I hold down control and click here to convert to vertex. And then I'll use shift, which I got set to control four. Oops, let me go ahead and turn on base constraints. And so now, no matter how far away from the surface it goes, it snaps right back there. Which means now, I can have this kind of nice sculpting-like workflow where I just kind of click and just kind of get it to the correct position. So it's more fun than just having to use the gizmo or, you know, like in Blender having to press a hot key every time because you're essentially just kind of left-clicking. And she's kind of massaging into the correct position right here. There we go. And so now I can use this to create some interesting effect right here. Thank you for watching and take care.